Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day, Mark. Brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Thursday, August twenty fifth, and we are the basically the fortnight uh, before the Fed meeting, or uh, not the Fed meeting, but actually the uh, where the uh, economists, Fed members, all gathering in uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and uh, tomorrow, Janet uh, Yellen is due to speak. And as we've kind of indicated all week, and even parts of last week. Uh, all investors and eyes and ears, everybody's going to be listening to the tone, uh, the message that Janet Yellen's going to be speaking tomorrow. Uh, so uh, they want to see if with, there's been a lot of hawkish tone out there with the other Fed members to see if she carries that same tone. And they want to see if there's any uh, signs of a potential rate hike in September as a lot of them kind of indicate that there might be. So uh, we'll kind of wait and see. But in the meantime, we do got a few uh, economic news releases scheduled for today, and we'll start off with the weekly jobless claims. So last week we had 262,000 people apply for unemployment. Uh, forecast was supposed to have a slight uptick to 264, and it actually came down to 261,000. So good overall numbers here. We've been going around like 76 weeks, I think it is, uh, without uh, going above with numbers below the 300,000 level, which is great numbers, uh, by the way. So uh, as we're tailing out towards the end of the summer, uh, looks like fewer people are, are we're not getting a lot of people applying for unemployment, which is obviously a good sign here. Uh, other numbers here, uh, which are important, are the durable goods orders uh, for the month of July. So back in uh, June, we had a, a huge pullback of a negative uh, 4.2%. And uh, forecast for this month, uh, or July, was at 3.6, and it came in at a positive 4.4. So two good overall numbers so far. Uh, we got for weekly jobless claims, durable goods orders is great. Now, if you strip out the big ticket items like uh, airplanes, uh, you know, sometimes these uh, big orders for like Air, uh, Aerobus, or I mean, um, Boeing and some of that offsets these numbers. We still got really good numbers here. So if you take, we, in that case, is actually what they call the core capital goods orders. So back in June, they had a 0.4% increase, and it jumped out up to 1.6%. So good, great, good numbers there today so far. Now, we also got, uh, earlier we had a market flash uh, PMI, which is the manufacturing. Now, on the other hand, we got the services. So we got the market services PMI flash for the month of August. So the first reporting came in at 51.4. Uh, again, anything above 50 is considered expansion. Anything below is uh, uh, contraction. And we're just teetering above the line on uh, uh, expansion uh, where we came in at 50.9. So it dipped a little bit in the month of August, which is uh, obviously not good news there. Uh, good news everywhere else, but not uh, this one. And service can be fairly important primarily because it does make up the majority of the jobs out there more than manufacturing. Uh, we become more of a service-oriented country. And uh, this is important because this could... Uh, let us know what kind of jobs we could be forecasting in the future. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the headline news here. And right now, the stock market's up. They've been kind of teetering back and forth. The Dow did start it off low uh, today, and since then, over the morning, it has worked its way up. More comments by Fed members like uh, Esther George out of uh, Kansas City and Kaplan out of Dallas basically did indicate a more hawkish tone uh, based saying it's time uh, for interest rates to start climbing start going up they're starting to feel seems like they're giving messages that they're pretty comfortable with uh, where things are moving as in terms of the inflation and jobs uh, so they think it's time to start raising rates um, again it, it all translates to what uh, Janet Yellen is going to say tomorrow because she's the final decision maker as to if they raise rates or hold rates and uh, if she's kind of on the same tone you know look for uh, stock market to start pulling back a bit and then the bond market in its sense could uh, benefit so today uh, as you saw yesterday we were way down here actually touching off the 50-day moving average yesterday and late in the day it pulled back so we actually closed above the uh, uh, 10 day and 25 day moving average uh, today it kind of doing the same thing it uh, start it it did pull did go down touching off the 50-day moving average and so far this morning it's pulled back uh, to above the uh, 10 and 25 now, a lot of this is uh, investors are going to be just pulling money out, sitting on the sidelines, waiting for the uh, speech tomorrow to see, determine as to, at least to determine as to where they're going to put their money. And again, if she comes in with a hawkish tone and maybe any inclination as a possible rate hike in uh, September, that will help out the bond market as it's more of a safekeeping. And uh, the free money in the uh, stock market will probably be starting to go away as, uh, you know, when they start raising rates, uh, stock markets usually uh, go downwards a bit. 
All right. You guys have a great day. Uh, today, basically, rates are about the same as where we left off yesterday. Uh, so I wouldn't say there's any change in pricing from what we experienced yesterday. As you can kind of see the chart where we're location-wise. But right now, we're about three basis points from where we left off yesterday. All right. Have a great day, guys. Uh, see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.